good afternoon my dear brothers and sisters in Christ here I am again before I post the last part of the message last time let us give first praise, honor and glory to our God Father Yahweh through His Son Yeshua Mashiach Jesus Christ so I will continue now this last three paragraphs <clears throat> in connection with the topic flee from the churches of Babylon new age pastors you are neither hot nor cold and I shall vomit you out of my mouth this is found in the book of Revelation chapter 3 verse 16 which I will read later beware I know your works you only want to speak of heaven and not warn or even believe there are severe consequences to sin and that is hell and the lake of fire you evil pastors who led people astray you fear teaching of hell and the lake of fire for you know that is your next home. Be not deceived. Again I say to the Babylonian churches, for I, Yahshua, will judge you and your works and your money and your fame will not save you in that coming judgment. That is found again in the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verses 17-18. You who serve Satan and call yourself 33rd degree Masons, you who call yourself Illuminati, there is no illumination in you. This is very true. The God of creation created hell and the lake of fire for another purpose, and it is for the fallen angels and Satan. But it is you who have insisted to stay in rebellion and serve the God of disobedience and rebellion and the Antichrist and you will spend eternity in damnation because you refuse my salvation. Test the fruits, my children. Here I will uh, read the fruits of the Holy Spirit that is found in book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. That is what he meant, the fruits of the Holy Spirit, when you are born again. He continued, If any pastor doesn't line up with my holy word, then run from this pastor. The church is not the building. The church and the temple are my people that gather together in my name. Be not deceived by fame and fortune by the size of a church or temple or congregation. Be not deceived by the false manifestations of what some call miracles. And yet I tell you, it is sorcery and alchemy. That is a warning. I tell you, it is the occult that fills so many of your churches. And yes, Christian airwaves. How long, my children, must I wait to come and get my bride? I tell you how long until my bride stops being disobedient and start obeying what they know to be true and starts fleeing from the evil in the majority of churches that preside. If you hear my voice in this prophecy, and flee now the Babylonian churches, then you will not be sitting in the counterfeit churches when the Antichrist comes in these churches and is worshipped and resides. So it is spoken, so it is written under the anointing of the Sweet Loving Holy Spirit on October 16, 2002. So, what is here 
stated uh, all found in the Bible. May I, there is still time. Uh, Revelation 3, verse 16. It says here, That is the church says in Philadelphia. That is what the Lord wants to build up for me. Because that is holy. May I read this? These are the words of him who is holy and true. Who holds the key of David. What he opens, no one can shut. And what he shuts, no one can open. I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. I know that you have little strength, yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. I will make those who are of the synagogue of Satan who claim to be Jews through though they are not. Excuse me. Claim to be Jews though they are not, but are liars. I will make them come and fall down at your feet and acknowledge that I have loved you. Since you have kept my command to endure patiently, I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come upon the whole world to test those who live on the earth. I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have, so that no one will take your crown. Him who overcomes, I will make pillar in the temple of my God. Never again will he leave it. I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which is coming down out of heaven from my God. And I will also write on him my new name. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. So, this is what is expected from us. To be a member of the church in Philadelphia. Those are people who are striving to be holy. Because God is holy, we know that. And then, it is the other one is found in the book of Revelation 3, 17, 18. Mm -hmm. That was uh, in the, to the, the letter to the church in Philadelphia, chapter 3, verse 7. 13 and this time 16 I 17 to 18 it says you say I am rich I have acquired wealth and do not need a thing but you don't realize that you are wretched pay pitiful poor blind and naked I counsel you to buy from the to buy from me gold refined in the fire, so that you can become rich, and white clothes to wear, so that you can cover your shameful nakedness, and salve to put on your eyes, so that you can see. Mm -hmm. That is in the book of Revelation. And the other one here, to test the fruits. Of the Holy Spirit that is found in the book of Galah, Galatians chapter 5 verse 22. May I read it to you? Anyway, there is still time. So, it says here in verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. 
Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the sinful nature with its passion and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. So that is what he meant here, test the fruits, my children. So I read it to you so that it is clear. So for now, I am going to close this now with the blessings. May the Lord bless and keep you. Again, I give uh, you this advice to have these fruits of the Holy Spirit. You must really experience this anointing, anointing experience there. He poured out his love. All these fruits of the Spirit is within that. That's why I have posted it online. It is now for you if you are diligent in worshiping god you can experience this uh, wonderful gift of anointing that is a miraculous sign miraculous sign and wonder because that is the only way to be cleansed by his blood remember he died for us but he rose from the dead he lives and when you Stand before him for true blessing. Please be humble to him and repent, accept all your sins and ask for your forgiveness. I tell you the Lord is very kind, considerate. His mercy is uh, an ocean of mercy. You just uh, show him that you are repentant, that you are sorry for your sins and you will have it that is uh, the most wonderful first experience anointing and then oh you will uh, experience more more about him because the holy spirit is already with you he will teach you and he will uh, lead you to live in spirit to live in truth to live in light and then Instead of living in the third dimensional world, which is plagued with manipulation, with lies, with distortion, then you will be elevated to the so-called fourth dimensional world. In this, you... Oh, it is almost time. I will just explain it then uh, next time. So, God bless you, and I will pray for you that soon you will have a positive things in your life to follow the Lord because He is all-powerful, all-knowing, and He alone can save your soul. He alone can help us during the time of catastrophe. There's no other. So, God bless you. The Lord help, bless you and keep you by now. He loves you unconditionally. I love you too. That's why I'm bringing all the knowledge and experiences I know in this channel. Bye for now.